Hi, so it's not Sunday, but this could be like Sunday art with Steve, couldn't it? Um, or um, being Monday and Queen's birthday, it's not Sunday, so let's make it Monday. Um, but anyway, I'll take these off so you can't see all the lights. Um, this is a painting which is a commission. Uh, some lovely people in Queensland who live in the Toowoomba area um, who love Australian art. They have a passion for collecting Australian art and they, um, they actually like to know the artists who are painting for them as well. And they've bought a number of pieces of mine in the past which have an Australian theme. And quite often as artists, we get asked questions like, who has inspired you and where did you go to art college? And, you know, um, you know, all those, you know, fancy things. Where is your art gallery? And everyone inspires you. If, you. if you're honest about it and you're an artist, everything you look at inspires you. Everything in life inspires you. Uh, everything from the past, from Monet through to what's happening or, um, you know, American artists, English artists, Australian artists. It's a never-ending world of inspiration. So when I approach a canvas or a, or a board, which this is board, um, I just approach it and uh, I, I paint in a style uh, for me, uh, pretty much. And yeah, I mean, I see things that, say, Pro Heart does or Drysdale, and I think, wow, that's really nice. And I might incorporate something about what they do and appropriate it into something that I'm doing. And you, you can see here, if you've, if you've got an eye for this little fellow here, the Ned Kelly, you've seen him being done before by quite a lot of Australian artists now. So, you know, there's nothing really original under the sun. Um, but uh, often when I do a, a work for people, um, I like to use a lot of texture. And I'll give you close-ups of the texture on this as well. And so, you know, I like people to be able to enjoy the art and touch it if they want to. You know, a lot of, a lot of art museums have a heart attack if you touch the painting. Um, but, you know, I like texture on my paintings because during the day, different light will make it look slightly different. So it comes alive as well. Um, so this is a, a painting which hasn't been titled, but the house is called The Cronin, so we probably call the painting The Cronin. And as you can see, it, it has quite an Australian um, look and feel to it and you know the colours um, probably the way we've approached the gum trees and the sky um, and you know what's fun about doing a commission for people is that they can they can add things into the painting that it means something to them and so on this painting we've got uh, a long lost pet and uh, we've got some some crazy stuff going on in the windows here what I love about um, approaching art with a textural finish is that I love to bring something a little bit more dramatic to a painting. And look, I've been doing it for a long time. You know, in high school, I was doing 3D artworks and paintings. And um, now that I'm a little bit older, um, I'm still doing it. When I was at university, I went to Griffith University and I was doing set design in theatre during my bachelor degree. And um, I did really well in set design. I got a, I think I got a, whatever it is, a seven out of seven or something. And you know, there's just something about texture and bringing paint and texture to a surface that, that to me is just a bit more interesting. It, it conveys more of a story and is a little bit more dynamic than just flat painting straight onto canvas. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do a close up here, but you can see, you know, I've got this fence here and the fence is really toothy and aged and the, the footpath here is kind of like, you know, it's, it's almost got a, an ancient castle feeling to it. Um, so this is, this is, I think it's 1.2 metres wide. It's quite a big piece and yeah, it is time consuming, a couple of weeks to do something like this because of the many layers and textures that I like to engage in using. And um, you know, being an abstract artist, you tend not to get too focused on minute details because I think, you know, there's far, it's far more interesting to me to, to have the mystery 
Uh, I've seen guys who can paint things picture perfect I and mean, look like photographs. That's fine, that's great, it's just not my taste. I can't see the point in doing something that you can take a photo of. I would prefer the viewer to see what they're looking at and then bring it to life in their own mind because the human eye and the human brain will fill in the details. And often we'll see things in a painting that aren't even there. Um, and so that's really good. That's what's really good about an abstract painting. You, you, can, you can bring things to the painting. Uh, you can bring your own memories. And so when you're doing a painting like this, which is somebody's house or homestead, um, you know, they will enjoy that painting because you've brought something to life. But not only that, they can engage in it through their memories of their, ha of, of their life with this particular place and enjoy it every time they see it. And it, it, it is a, not only a record of, of um, their property through a painting, but it also accesses the files in their mind as to what's important to them about it. And so when it's abstract, it leaves the room for the interpretations and those you know, extrapolations, I guess you could say. So, I probably won't talk much about how I achieve anything with a painting. I mean, look, you know, it's all acrylics. Uh, I haven't used oils on this at all. Um, and it's, it's been finished with a satin finish. And, uh, you know, it's about to be popped in the mail and sent to be home where it belongs. So, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. Um, well, there goes the train. Uh, if you're interested in a commission for your property or your house or building and you like this style, get in touch. I'm happy to do it for you. Um, yeah, so that's um, Steve on the couch. Um, so we'll talk to you next time.